Welcome back, Pokemon trainers. Professor Chaz here, the lab coat's on back order, and where are we at? Of course, we're at Dr. Kaminko's lab here in Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness here in the Ore region. <coughs> Excuse me. In the last episode, we... Actually, we decided to check out the Cypher sightings in the middle of the desert, so we took our nice old Scooty Puff Jr. over that way, and... Turns out, the sand is too deep in the northern desert, so our scooter couldn't get through the sand, unfortunately. And what was it? I think... Well, we actually went back to ONBS, because somebody there is missing a Pokemon, a new species known as Bonsly. No one's ever heard of the species before, at least at this point in time. And it's gone missing, and they're asking for my help to try to find it. We did get a picture of it, which is kind of cool. And we then found out we can come here to, well, come to Gadeon Port and get uh, Pear's grandfather, the uh, guy that owns the parts shop, to upgrade our scooter. But he's not there. He's here at Dr. Kaminko's lab. We came over here. Chobin thinks we're a thief. He's insane. He attacks us with a robot crowd on, as you can see, right over here. Pretty cool looking thing. I would love to have this in my backyard, just as a little, uh... What would you even call this? Kind of like a... Not swing set, not jungle gym, just some sort of play thing, you know? I would climb on this all day and all night until I pass out. Anyways, all that being said, let's do a team recap. You'll notice that Snapper has gotten his HP back. I did use some items to uh, heal him up, but he's at level 31, so let's switch him out to our newest Pokemon member of the team, Ice Cap, our twice knocked out during the grinding, Snow Runt at level 30, bold natured Pokemon with the inner focus ability preventing the flinching, Water Pulse, Icy Wind, Crunch, and Protect for the moves. Next is Dratini at level 30 with three injuries. He's a serious Pokemon. Shed Skin Ability, Curing Status Conditions at the end of each turn, 1 in 3 chance, and Dragon Rage, Ice Beam, Iron Tail, Thunder Wave for the moves. Next is Poe, our hardy Duskull at level 30. Levitate Ability and being immune to ground attacks with Shadow Ball, Pursuit, Confuse, Ray, Helping Hand. Next we've got our thrice knocked out Gullet, our level 30 Swalot, a quirky little Pokemon with Liquid Ooze for the ability, and Sludge, Shockwave, Sing, and Body Slam. Next we have Wally, our Gardevoir, did evolve during the grinding last episode at level 30. Nature is bold, holding onto the Twisted Spoon. I should probably give more items to my Pokemon. I don't even think of that. Anyway, Synchronize Ability, Passing Status Conditions to the Attacker, Psychic, Shockwave, Calm Mind, and Reflect, and last but not least, level 31, <coughs> excuse me again, Snapper, our Totodile at level 31. As I just said, with Mild Nature, two knockouts, Torrent is the ability, and the moves are Water Gun, Ice Beam, Dragon Claw, and Dig. So, turns out, Purrs, or Pears, however you pronounce it, Grandfather, is inside this crazy mansion. But let's see what Chobin has to say. Hello, Chobin needs your help. Do something about that little girl, please. She keeps taking things from the manor and hiding them under Chobin's room. What? Of course, the things she takes are not needed, so that in itself is not a problem for Chobin. But that space is open... That space is open to below. What? So it could be dangerous if anything were to fall. Chobin asked if you would say something to her. Who are you talking about? It's my sister, probably. However, Chobin realizes perhaps she is not likely to listen to you anyway. Oh, yes. May Chobin ask if you would inspect the crane room on occasion from now on. That's not a question, Professor, or Professor's Assistant, but sure. Wow, you're a lifesaver. Chobin is no friend of high places. Oh, he's afraid of heights? That's too bad. If you find anything, Chobin won't know if you took it, so take it. But don't take Chobin's treasures. Okay, Chaz, Chobin is counting on you. You actually call me by name? Also, I have no idea what I just agreed to. Hopefully nothing... I'm going to regret later. Alright, where's the grandfather? He's not here. Dr. Kamenko, can you help me out here? What's going on? Hmm, where lay the weakness of my robo-Pokemon? Oh, Eureka! Great Scott! Next time, I shall make a real Pokemon drive it! No, wait. Something about that plan sounds extraneous. Hmm. Yeah. So, where do we go? You, child! That area is strictly prohibited! Oh, never mind. The basement R&D room is no longer home to any secrets. You may come and go as you wish, but try not to disturb Makan inside. Oh, he is in here! Let's go! So, is this the part that I'm thinking of? Wait, where? Huh? Oh, an elevator. We're going down, folks. I'm down for this. I think this leads us to... No, never mind. It's the crane room, but there's another way to sort of access these cranes. Let's talk to this guy over here. Hmm, so this is the Robo Kyogre that Kaminko had under development. He called it useless scrap and demanded that I haul it away. But, you know, this is quite a well-engineered machine. Huh? Wow, you've given me quite the start. Oh, it's you, lad. What's up today? I explained what had been happening to Makan. 
Hmm, Cypher is back then. I thought they'd folded five years ago, but they've returned. So you want me to modify your scooter for desert crossing performance? Yes, please. Well, you certainly are bold for even considering to face Cypher alone. Fine, let's do it. I'll modify your scooter. Good deed shouldn't wait. I'll arrange to haul this Robo Kyogre back to my shop right away. I'll see you there. Cool, that's all there is to it. And we go with him. Sweet, nice transition. Phew, what a job that was. I'm finally done. I've converted it into a hover-type scooter, so it'll be perfect for the desert. Go on, try it out right away. I think I might do just that. Let's roll. We can finally head to that desert mystery spot out in the middle of nowhere and see what is going on out there. Cypher's been sighted. Let's see if we can find out for ourselves. I wonder if my RV's going to show up in this episode. It is possible. I still don't know what happened last time at the uh, cave poke spot where it said he was there. I went and, and, you know, Trudley and Folly were there, but nothing else happened. I don't get it. Anyway, we can now hover. Check this out. It's a nice 2015 technology right there, which is kind of sad to say that it is two years in the past. Isn't that mind-blowing? Back to the Future. I, I read this. The entirety of the Back to the Future timeline now happens in the past. <laughs> Wrap your head around that one. It appears to be the SS Libra, the missing Pokemon transport ship. You know, I probably should have paid attention to that, because this is the big revelation, but... Great Scott, Back to the Future. I get so excited for that movie, that series, that, that franchise. I didn't play it, but I watched a playthrough of it. There was a uh, Telltale Games... Uh, almost like a choose your own adventure thing for Back to the Future that came out some time ago. We got email. Oh, from Justy. Chaz, thanks for being so patient. The pre gym is finally reset, set to reopen. Reset. After that Cypher takeover bit. <coughs> we are all looking forward to the opportunity of battling you, Chaz. Maybe later. Alright, so. This is a bit of a mystery. What do we do? Hey, Poke Food. I can push it. Of course I can't. I know what I'm doing. Alright, so. Okay, remember, you gotta be careful here, because you can fall off these things easily. For example, check this out. There's a free item to pick up right over here. You're gonna drop down and grab it. Get yourselves an iron. I can sell that for some good cash, but now you can't get back up, so we're gonna go this way. And look what they make you do. You're gonna push the poke food crate out of your way. Wait a minute, you gotta push it again. And then, to continue your adventure, you gotta push it back up into position. They just love drawing things out, don't they? So, I can mention, as we do some random box pushing at this part, that I've done some online trading for Pokemon TCG Online, and I'm happy to say I once again have in my virtual possession full art Buzzwool GX. Yes, I've said before, I don't really like... I don't really like what that's dripping over there. That ain't water. Let's get out of here. Where are you at, Meyer? We, if you're at a poker spot, I'll go see you. If you're in a Coliseum, we don't got time for that garbage. Yeah, never mind. He's in the Coliseum. He can win that tournament all he wants. It. Hey, more money that I'll get out of him when I beat him later on, right? Can I go up the stairs, please? But, uh, although I'm not a big fan of the full arts, uh, I can't... We'll talk later. Ugh. We have to roll I do here. We let one away. And I can't read either. After all I do to get here, we let one get away on us. Isn't that right, Snidle? Who is speaking? I can't really tell. Oh, yes, indeed. Such a lost opportunity, for it was obviously rare. If only it had been caught. Why, if you caught it, Gorgon. Gorgon, right. Your collection would have been enhanced by 0.7%. Such a disappointing loss. Took off because you made so much noise, Gorgon, sir. I heard that. You're putting your... You're pinning the blame on me, so whenever I read this guy's dialogue, I apparently have to stutter. That's blatant insubordination! And yet that word I don't mess up. I'm in a foul mood today. Not blatant foul! 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 Today of all days! I can't really decide on a voice for this guy, apparently. Oh! Gorgon, sir! An intruder! Hello? What's going on? Urgh, that fool Snaddle had to screw up! Someone let this outsider get in here! Our recovery plan's done, but we can't let you go. Not after you've seen us here. Hey! Yes, sir. Teach this little boy a thing or two about pain. Hey, hey, sir. You can leave everything to me. You can be rest assured the job will be done while you return to the lair. See to it. And off he goes. This guy's looking a little swole himself. Well, now you've heard the man. I must get back to the lair, too. You know what to do. That's not what he said. Wait a, yeah. Wait a second. That's not what you said. 
Allow me to explain. We have a crucial job to do at the lair. We need to make shadow Pokemon from those that were on the ship. You do agree that this is indeed important, don't you? If you were to do the job, you would take 38% more effort than I. In that case, Gorgon's mood would worsen by 72%. You do agree that it is indeed most inefficient, don't you? As a result, if you were to take on this boy in my place, we would be ahead 63% in terms of overall efficiency. You do understand, don't you? It's only for efficiency's sake. I'll be going now. And he ran pretty quick. I don't know if he really believed those numbers. Why do I always get the feeling that I've been had? Oh well. If I don't beat you here, I wouldn't be fulfilling my duties. Don't hold a grudge for this. This guy seems kind of reasonable, actually. Hey, he's pretty smart. Smart on. What do you got? Mercy Huntail and Cacnea. Okay. So, as I say, yeah. Not a big fan of the full art cards for the Pokemon GX, but I understand the rarity is that they are harder to come by, so... I'm kind of happy to have gotten it. Now, I did put it up for trade for two regular Buzzwole GXs. Don't think anyone's going to take me up on that, but hoping that they do, because uh, the next deck that I want to show off in the game, Pokemon TCG Online, is going to uh, feature three Buzzwole GXs. Uh, what do we do? We could... Well, obviously, we're going to go Dragon Rage. Let's go Icy Wind and Dragon Rage combo. We're going to go for the Hunt Tail with the Dragon Rage. How much damage can we get off? Now, I think I mentioned in the last episode, too, that I also traded with a viewer by the uh, Pokemon TCG username of BerserkerJJ27. I'm kind of messing it up, or maybe not. I somehow suspect I am. But uh, BerserkerJJ27 or 24. I can't remember. But I got the BerserkerJJ part. Oh, good. You missed. Excellent. And Pin Missile. You can miss that, too. Oh, it's called Missile. You could miss it, you know. But uh, I did get Solvalegia. Get up, Dratini. Oh, that looked bad. Uh, I could crunch. So Capnia was slower. Actually, Ice Cap was faster than both of them. I'm going to say Crunch to Capnia and Dragon Rage Huntail. But next couple decks I am kind of working on right now. I'm going to see if I can assemble decks for Pokemon, or the Ultra Beasts, Pokemon GX, based on the number order. So UB01, Symbion has already been taken care of. I was like, what happened to the music? Anyway, level up for Dratini. And, uh, so UB02 Absorption and UB02 Beauty are next on the list. Now, Beauty's gonna be harder to get my hands on, though, because I believe it's a promo-only card. And, okay, <clears throat> if you watched the live stream this past Sunday, I was showing off some of the trade requests, trade offers. I didn't show you this one. I looked at it today, and... They're asking, I don't know they, whoever they are, right? But somebody is asking to trade you a Pheromosa GX, all right, for some Crimson Invasion booster packs. How many, you ask? 50! Why would you even waste the tokens putting a trade up like that? No one's gonna do that. I don't get it. I mean, sure, if you get the spare tokens, excuse me, spare tokens to spare, maybe it's not that big of a problem to do that, but like, I don't know. I just don't understand why anyone would do that kind of a trade, or expect that kind of a trade, really. Come on, don't poison me. Let's see what I could do here. Dragon Rage probably takes the Teddy Ursa down. Crunch takes the coughing down. Should I be risky? I'm gonna be risky. I know I shouldn't. I'm gonna. If Dragon Rage doesn't drop the Teddy Ursa, we are in trouble. Thank you. Down you go. Alright. Now let's assume that coughing is going to fall to this crunch because the first one did more than half. I don't see why the second one should do less than what is left. There we go. Risky, but yeah, I want to keep things interesting. Sometimes playing it too safe makes for like a boring playthrough. There's no twists and turns. There's no edge of your seat action. Except for like when I take on, I guess, boss characters, like Snaddle, losing someone to him. What? I lost. I can't go back to the lair like this. I got some cash too. And we also have... Cancelled Evolution. Dratini Man. No, you're as rare as you need to be. You're staying as you are, my little buddy. I still have you as a Dratini in Pokemon Go. He's done a lot of battling in Go as well. That's why I'm hoping eventually they're going to show you the wins on the Pokemon data screen. Because I'd like to show that in my next video. Hello there, random hard-hatted man. Is that a lucky helmet you have on? I watched you battling those downright bizarre people. You're some kind of tough, aren't you? Some kind? Huh? Me? 
I just happened to stumble across this ship, so I made it my home. You know, there's plenty of food from... Plenty of food and all. I have to admit, certain things bug me, but nothing's perfect in life. I gotta admit, I'm glad that weird bunch is gone. I owe you thanks for that, at least. You must be tired after that battle, right? You can rest up at my place. It's in the wheelhouse. Free heal? That's what I heard. I heard that, too. Nice little jingle for the heal. Thank you. Well, did you get some decent rest? You're free to use that bed whenever you feel tired, okay? Sounds good. By the way, I've got this favor to ask of you. See, every so often, I hear these odd noises coming from deep in the ship's hull. I think there's someone skulking around down there, but it's too creepy for me to go take a look-see. How about you go look for me? I'm brave! Yes. Thank you kindly. That noise has been really eating at my nerves lately. I can hardly sleep now. So when you're done investigating, I need you to tell me if you found anything. Will do. Alright, is there anything up here? You guys ever have any paranormal experiences? I've had some occasional... Whoa, wait a minute. What is this? A book title, Preventing Seasickness in Pokemon. That's not what I want. I want Battle CD! Team Cypher was here, obviously, because we just beat one of them up. But yeah, there's been... I don't want to say that the house I'm living in here is haunted, but there's been some kind of a... Uh, some creepy aspects. I don't know if I should actually... Whoa, wait, you're not leaving, are you? You're here to investigate the ship's deep innards for me. I'm counting on you. My good night's sleep depends on this. So... That was a uh, disembodied voice. I'm sure it was the guy upstairs, though. But yeah, there's been the occasional interesting occurrence here in the old professor's lab. Ah, we got some items. This is going to take forever, but I'm going to do it. So what we do... Pushing it over is not going to help. So we're going to go this way. Hop down and push it up. We can't push it all the way up, though, because then we're not going to be able to push it back from the wall. So... We gotta see, are we gonna be able to make it without falling off? Because this can be a little bit tricky. There we go. Firestone? Nice. We don't have anyone that we can use that on, I don't think, just yet. Let's push this poke food back down here and grab ourselves what I'm gonna guess is probably a Thunderstone, maybe? I don't know. Two PP ups? I'll take those, most definitely. Alright. We don't even need to use this anymore, do we? I was going to say, how do we push this back to where it's supposed to be? But pfft, we don't need that. We can just walk over this way. All right. Puzzle solved. A bit of a question mark over my head. All right. So to get that item, we need to come over here. No. Maybe, <clears throat> excuse me. We can still do it this way, though. I think. As long as it doesn't hit a wall. No, we're good. All right. So, push it up to grab that item. I'm going to push it up some more to access further into the ship. This is probably going to fill up the rest of the episode from the looks of it. So, I'm recording this from based on when you're watching this, if you watch it the day that it goes up. I'm recording it the night before because I want to get into a routine where I have stuff pre-recorded for the channel, giving me time to get up early and claim some gems in Pokemon Go, because we're getting close to when Gen 3 is going to appear, and I want to have a nice supply of coins for whatever possible collection box they're going to sell. And, you know, you never know what kind of cool items you're going to get. Alright. I did not mean to jump. So... Hmm. I know what to do here. At least I think. We push this all the way up between these two platforms here. It's gonna be a bit of a run, or going to be a bit of a run around, but I can set another box right by that guardrail. See so when I say run around, I gotta go all the way around this part here, going behind the stairs push this to the right. I believe this will get us access to both items. Actually, wait. Is that enough? That's not enough. I'm assuming that we're going to be able to walk onto the box when I push it up one more. I think that's good. Alright. Let's grab ourselves a couple items and see if we can find our way deeper into the ship and see what sort of spooky mysteriousness is happening. TM35. What's that one? Yeah, let's take a look. I got some TMs during the grinding in the last episode as well. 35 Flamethrower. Not bad. Who can I give that one to? Uh, Dratini can learn it. That'd be good for his ice weakness, but we'll hang on to it for the time being. We got Iron Tail. That's good for ice as well. 
And we get ourselves Yellow Flute. That snaps out of confusion, I think? I don't know. Let's take a look. The Yellow Flute. Survey sales. Cures confusion. Right, okay. So, what is up this way? It's the Bond Sly! Oh, is that... It's sleeping. If I can sneak up on it, we can get it without any problem. Hey, an item! Luxury Ball! I've got an Igaloo with your name on it. Alright, let's kind of creep up on it a little bit. We don't want to wake it up. And... Oh, no. Ba -ba -ba -ban! Apparently, it hurt me. Alright, then. Oh, now it's sleeping. Oh, how cute. So we're gonna sneak up slowly on it? But that's gonna be difficult. With the control scheme that I have. Ba -ba 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 -ban! Hmm. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this. I'm not using a gamepad for this, so like... Huh. I can move like this. But that's full speed. Let me try something. Oh, it's going to keep hearing me. Huh. I might have to end things here so I can figure out this control scheme. Because part, like, right here what happens is you got to sneak slowly up on it. But I don't know how to do that with my configuration. Hmm. Give me one second. I'll be right back. All right, I think I have it figured out here. So I'm going to creep up on Bon Sly. Going super slow. See, look at this. It doesn't even know I'm here. All right, and... What? Oh, of all the timing for this to happen... Uh, let me interview you. Acri from Gadeon Port. Thanks, Acri. I finally figured out how to creep, crawl, sneakily my way up to the thing, and then whatever. All right. Chaz, I would like to write a novel featuring you as the main character. Oh, sweet! Please let me interview you. I have a good feeling about this story. I might be generous with my thanks. Thank you! And thank you. Startled by the male message's noise, the Pokemon fled somewhere. I really like when this happened, though, when I played it for the first time. I thought it just happened that I got a message, and I was like, was that supposed to happen? And I realized, yes, it was. So that was kind of cool. All right, where'd you go, Bonds? Ooh, wait a minute. Leftovers! Hmm... Just as I was saying earlier about giving held items to Pokemon, I think now's the time to hand leftovers to somebody. Look at all the items we have. Uh, we already used the experience share for a bit. We gave that to Ice Cap during the training. I think, just based on the way this Pokemon is, you can hold the leftovers, Gullet. Do we have anything else that we can hold? Let's take a look here. Nothing. Or black glasses. Hang on. No, I can't use that. We can give. Who has Dark? Poe has Pursuit. Ice Cap has Crunch, though. Let's go with Ice Cap. Anything else? We've got Focus Band. Actually, we can give that to somebody, just in case. Uh, I'm going to give it to Dratini, who is one knockout away. If Focus Band can save him, that's going to be great. Soothe Bell, we don't need that. I guess we're good for items right now. Alright, we're at Bon Sligo this time. And at least I know how to creep up on him now. See this? Oh, that's awesome. Alright, so... Can't push that Poke Food box. We're going to go push this one. Don't tell me i got to push it back up to get to the door, though. Come on. You're not going to be like that, are you? No, you're not. Sweet. Where'd you go? Come on, Bonsly. Be our friend. I could have gone through this quicker if I dropped under the side of it and pushed it out of the way. All right, regardless, we are ready to roll here. Where it went. I honestly don't remember where it goes at this point. It's not here. Okay, let's head on upstairs. Did it go all the way here by itself is the question. Oh, hey, so how was it? Was there anything down there? There actually was. I don't know where it is now. I described the Pokemon that was deep in the ship's hull. I see, so it was a Pokemon down there. I'll sleep better at night knowing that. Is that right? So it was a Pokemon that a girl asked you to find, and you say it got away? Well, this place isn't a very welcome place for a wild Pokemon to survive in. Why don't you try looking for it in places where wild Pokemon are apt to gather? The Pokespots! Anyways, I'll be heading off for home now. After all, you've solved what worries I had. I'm surely indebted to you. 
he didn't say to you, but in, indebted doesn't to me doesn't seem like the end of a sentence. So, regardless, come see me whenever you like. You're always welcome. Thank you. Look at the mess of this place. You might want to clean up for the next time you have guests over. Though. What's this? There's a newspaper with a headline: SS Libra set sail. Cargo of Pokemon and big dreams. Well, those big dreams turned into a nightmare, I would say, when little do we know in game that Shadow Lugia came and snatched you all up. Is there anything up here on the deck that I can find? Does not look like it. So I guess all we do is head on back downstairs. Is there anything in here that we haven't gotten, or is it just a... Yeah, it's just a straight walkway through. Alright, so I guess we're getting close to the end of the episode. But let's just pop on out of here first. We're going to save it up once we get back to a safe zone, like, for example, uh, Gadeon Port, Mount Battle, perhaps, a, uh, a Gate Village. I'm actually going to go back and uh, do some more purifications back in the lab, too. Hold it! No one gets past here! Recognize these guys? I recognize these guys. I'm waking up Team Snagum. It wouldn't hurt you to remember that. It wouldn't hurt you to forget that his name either. <laughs> Silence! Uh, you. You don't have a clue about who Tag Team Snagum is, do you? I can't read! Back in the old days, grown men shook when they heard our name. Sheesh. That's all right. We'll get back to snagging Pokemon just like the old days and terrify the world again. You guys weren't even all that important back in the first game, though. And we'll do that by using your snag machine. I'm not giving you the snag machine. Trade me a full art Buzzwold GX, though, and I might consider it. Whoops. I know you're a great battler, but I'm not having any of that. Bloom, release your sleep powder. Send this kid off to Betty Bye. You're not supposed to use Pokemon to attack people. What is this garbage? Yeah, the snag machine is mine! Quick, let's get back to the hideout! Hey, can you imagine how happy Gonzap's going to be with us? So, yeah. Where as it sounds, I don't have my snag machine anymore. It's been snagged. By a machine! Or at least someone that looks like a machine with that weird kind of, uh, what's that guy from Star Wars Episode Five? Lando's buddy. That weird, whatever that thing is, like the reverse Geordi visor. Hi, are you awake now? Looks like you had a rough time of it. Are you alright? Your arm looks a little bit, uh, busted. That bunch I saw, weren't they Team Snagum? Why would they want to pick a fight with you? I explained what had been happening. Is that right? So that's been happening in the world at large. You're kind of tucked away here, so yeah, I can't blame you for not knowing. Team Snagum was a bunch of crooks and thugs. They were snagging Pokemon from people with Cypher's help. I hadn't heard about them for the last couple years, so I figured they fell apart. I guess not, eh? Anyways, it seems to me you need to get back that thing they took from you. I think they took off north chasing after another bunch of strange characters. Maybe you ought to join the chase too. Where'd they go? That place. It's right around here, on the north side of Eklo Canyon. But, that's gonna have to wait for the next episode, because this is it for today's episode. I want to say, of course, thanks for watching, folks. If you enjoyed all the craziness that's happening here, we saw Bonsly, Team Snagum is back, they stole our snag machine, we can't snag Shadow Pokemon anymore. What are we going to do? Anyway, if you enjoyed the episode, of course, as I say, feel free to leave a like, and if you want to see what's going to happen next time, come on back tomorrow for another episode of... Excuse me, Hiccup chose the worst time to happen. Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. If you want to see the full playthrough, of course, there's a link in the description to such playthrough. And for some more Pokemon content on my channel, you can check out some of the links during the outro to some more videos. And you can also subscribe to the channel with the link during the outro as well. With that, we are done. Look at me all happy, ready to roll. Thanks again for watching. Professor Chaz is signing off, and I'll catch you next time.